Ladies and gentlemen, the Lumberton Raiders. The regular season has concluded, but the playoffs have arrived. Hello, everyone, and welcome into Texan Live's coverage of high school football presented to you by TexanDrive.com. Coming at you live from Texan Drive Stadium in New Caney, Texas, in a UIL by district round matchup between the Crosby Cougars and the Lumberton Raiders. I am Mark M. Johnson. Alongside with me is Lou Rush and our production engineer, Reed Harmon. And as always, an absolute pleasure to bring you the game live here on TexanLive.com. And if you'd like to know more about Texan Live, Feel free to check out the rest of the website for incredible highlight videos, archive games, upcoming events, and a whole lot more. You can like our Facebook page, Texan Live. Follow us on Twitter and Instagram at Texan underscore live. And be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel, Texan Live, as well. Well, we've seen Crosby quite a lot this season, Lou. And we saw just how dominant they were last week against C.E. King in that 21-5A district title game. These guys are for real, but Lumberton comes in with a bit of a chip on their shoulder having made the playoffs, but how do these two teams really stack up? Well, that's a great question because tonight I think we're going to have a ball game that features two teams that can run the ball, for one. Lumberton comes in first year in the playoffs in quite some time under their new head coach, Chris Babin, and they've got a kid that rushed for nearly 1,600 yards and 22 touchdowns, so they, they're not afraid to put the ball in, uh, in play, and they – Talking to Coach Babin, he simply said, you know, hey, we're going to run the ball and see if they can stop us. To the end zone. We will head over to the PA announcer where they will recognize the national anthem. So we'll step back and be back in just a moment. Cadet Major Kenneth Esman. Cadet Major Kaime Wilburn. Cadet Major Sergeant Seda Moreno. And Cadet Second Lieutenant Madison Kleinsorg. Color guard from Crosby include Cadet Kerry Buckowitz, Cadet Priscilla Pachenko, Cadet Aiden Weaver, and Cadet Jasmine Anderson. Please stand and provide your undivided attention as Autumn Hamlet from Crosby High School says the prayer. Heavenly Father, I pray that you guide and protect every football player, cheerleader, dancer, JROTC member, and band member today on this field. I pray that no matter what religion or culture, that every member of this beautiful crowd today comes together to celebrate the accomplishments of their team. I pray that we all stay safe and happy knowing how blessed we are to be here. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Now, please face the flag for tonight's national anthem, performed by the Big Red Machine from Crosby.
Tonight's officials are from the Texas Association. Well, there you have it, the National Anthem. And that means only one thing, game time coming up between, of course, Crosby and Lumberton by district round of the UIL playoffs. Crosby, of course, going undefeated over there in 21-5A and 22-5A. Lumberton finished second, 7-3 overall. So these two teams, I mean, Crosby obviously on paper looks like they're the better team, but winning seven games is no easy task, Lou. Uh, absolutely not. And Lumberton plays a bunch of good teams as well. The District 22-5A has uh, Port Nature's Grove. They've got Beaumont Central and teams like that. And so interesting that Lumberton comes in as a team that loves to run and has actually – uh, faced quite a few teams that have run rushing attacks that are successful. However, they haven't faced a team that's as balanced as Crosby. Crosby scored uh, 50 touchdowns this season and almost evenly split between the rushing attack and the uh, air attack. So it's going to be pretty interesting tonight if you ask me. I'm looking for a game where this could be a 35 28 game, you know, depending on how well Lumber Lumberton can run against the Crosby defense and how well the Lumberton defense controls Crosby through the air. Absolutely. That is a good point. This could be a very, very high scoring matchup right here at Texan Drive Stadium. And these two teams, not familiar with the stadium, of course, Crosby playing over at their stadium. You know, lots of times we see these in these playoffs, teams pick mutual spots and this is the one that they agreed to. Of course, Crosby, much uh, less of a travel than Lumberton had to make. So uh, mainly they got the home field advantage tonight. So let's see what they can do. Crosby in their white uniforms and their red bottoms. Lumberton in their light blue jerseys and their white bottoms. A late game scratch for Crosby, too, was one of their weapons, Manny Netherly. So we won't number see one, him Taylor tonight. Two, that is a big blow indeed. Manny Netherly, of course. Well, I, I would imagine the heart and soul of this team. So Taylor Perry and looks like Joseph Pinckney will be the return man on this kickoff to start the game. Here we go. The playoffs are underway as that ball bounces around the five-yard line, picked up about the goal line, taking it to the right side across the 20. He's still on his feet. He's got plenty of blockers ahead of him. He's to the 50. He's got one left to beat, and somebody showed up on the left side out of nowhere and tackled him around the 36-yard line. It looked like what a fantastic way to start Joseph this game Pickney off. Returns. Yeah, and Pickney is their big man when it comes to kickoff returns, averaging uh, just about 40 yards per kickoff return, so he's a weapon nonetheless. And you just saw it right there, how quick and athletic this team is. We saw a lot of good returns last week with C.E. King and Crosby. And today may look no different for Crosby, getting themselves in great field position. But hold the phones, there was a flag over by the 20, a couple of flags. That ball's coming back. Wow, that's a huge call right there. But Crosby comes into this game with almost uh, 800 yards and penalties this season through 10 games. So not unusual for them. But you think, what a change difference between starting at the other team's 40 and your own nine. Wow, does that change things right there? Got caught in the moment a little bit too quick there. So Crosby's going to have a ways to go on their own nine-yard line. Here's a first play from scrimmage, and it's going to be handoff, a nice hole on the left side. He's going to go towards the left and to the sideline, and on his feet he is. He may be gone on the first play of this game in a foot race to the 20. The 10 Williams, a sophomore, is in the end zone for the first touchdown of this game and the first play of this game. Crosby, 6 nothing. Wow. <laughs> a 91-yard jaunt there by Craig Williams on the first play of the game, and he came into this game, I think his long was 85 coming into this match. He just beat that one. 
Yep, longest carry of the season had been an 81-yard run. Wow, no kidding. For a score. Well, you see these guys go beyond expectations, make personal goals here in the playoffs, and they're seeing it from Williams on the first play of the game. But we have only played 26 seconds, and Crosby, despite the penalty, has scored on their first play from scrimmage. Originally had the ball on the 36-yard line, but the penalty in the backfield on the kickoff brought them back to the nine-yard line. Didn't matter to them. No, and just as we saw Dayton so many times this year, they're not worried about time of possession or anything. They they just get out there and go. Because you just what you just said, they negated a 64-yard kickoff return and it's impressive. With a, with a 91-yard touchdown run. Ochoa kicks it up and good. So, 11.34 left in the first quarter. It's 7-0 Crosby on top of Lumberton. We'll be right back on TexanLive.com. All Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware and so much more. Welcome back into TexanLive.com by district round of the UIL playoffs here in 5A Division II. Crosby with an early 7-0 lead, just 26 seconds into this game on top of Lumberton, thanks to a 91-yard run from Craig Williams. We talked about, you know, the number of touchdowns Crosby scored this season. That was their 26th touchdown on the ground. They can definitely mix it up when they need to. Here is a kickoff taken at the 13-yard line. Looks like he may have stepped out of bounds, and he did indeed. So no return on that one. They're going to say that Tim Rhodes stepped out of bounds. I think uh, we saw his heel slightly touch that sideline, and then unfortunate for Lumberton is they're going to start off on their own 13. Well, Lumberton's goal this game, well, just like any game because of the running attack that they have, is to grind out the clock. So we won't see them necessarily go for the big strike as much as we're going to see them run the ball and run the ball and run the ball. Yeah, only 56 completed passes out of 128 for Stephen Yarbrough on the season, 801 yards. And you look over on the other side, and Tim Rose, 189 attempts for almost 1,500 yards and 21 touchdowns. But here is a quick timeout down on the field. We'll take a quick break and be right back on TexanLive.com. If you want a real authentic Texas barbecue, you need to come to Tin Roof. We've been doing barbecue for 12 years, and we have just a little mom and pop barbecue joint. Where everything is cooked fresh here. We uh, have brisket, sausage, Chicken that's cooked fresh every day. Ribs cooked fresh every day. We have the world's best turkey. And then we do like 15 side dishes, and the side dishes are all from scratch. So interesting, a quick timeout by Lumberton before they can get a playoff. Here's the snap, and there's the run, like as we expected, to the right side and getting maybe a couple of yards out of that play, taking it to about the 16, maybe a gain of three. Well, one thing we will see tonight, Coach Babin told me earlier in the week, is that they have never gone under center, always out of the shotgun, and they run a variation of the power eye formation right out of the shotgun. And then when they do, do throw, we'll probably see a lot of bubble screens to the, either the wide receiver or the backs. I see that quite often. Lots of teams go to the shotgun. Hardly see anybody go under center these days, but Lumberton. Going to the shotgun again. Now throwing, interestingly enough. 
Incomplete pass around the 22-yard line over the head of his intended receiver. So we're going to have a third and about seven to go. Ten forty nine remaining in this first quarter, just underway here at Texan Drive Stadium. Going with a trips left. Still kind of figuring things out. Play clock at one. I don't think they're gonna get this off in time, and they don't. Here come the flags. So not a good start for Lumberton having to already kill one of their timeouts. And now this happening, actually, it looks like they took a timeout. So they, they did indeed just before time ran out. But I don't know if it's the nerves going through these boys or what it is, but already two timeouts taken in their opening drive, and that can't bowl over well with that coaching staff. Two timeouts in a minute and 11 seconds into the game. You don't see that too often. Not too often. Well, you just talked about them throwing the ball and how uh, kind of they throw it just enough to keep a defense honest, but they've got two big targets. They got number six out there, Jacob Bridgers, 6'2", 200 pounds, and Ma Mason Sykes, their tight end, at 6'4", 230. So they got some guys they can throw it to. Here they go with a third down. Hopefully those timeouts are worth it, and they're going to go in the air and incomplete pass well over the head of the intended target. Mason Sykes it was. Surrounded by a bunch of Cougars. So had that pass been on target, it actually might have been more disastrous. So a three and out and two timeouts wasted in that three down series that they had. Fourth and seven now. Off to punt it from about his own six-yard line. It's going to bounce around the 45, take a Lumberton bounce to about the 45-yard line of Crosby. Not a bad punt, but still pretty good field position for Crosby. Well, this will be an important series for Lumberton right here, considering the fact that Crosby's ran, ran one play and scored, and now they're starting out at midfield, basically, with the ball. Not even a minute and a half has gone by in this game. Second possession for Crosby. Looking to throw. Cotton finds his man in the 45. Good for a first down. Tackled right around the 42-yard line. Over in Lumberton territory. Wiley with the reception for the Cougars. Wiley's another one of those versatile backs and a young back. He's a junior as well for this team. And when Carlos Grace first went down, he stepped in and had a 100-yard game. Looking to throw again. Another short pass completed. This time to Williams. He manages to dodge a tackle, make it around the corner, and out of bounds around the 32-yard line. Another first down for Crosby. So Williams already with 100 yards altogether. See how much more damage he can do throughout the rest of this game. Looking back, stepping, and now going long. and Got a man open, and Crosby's got themselves another touchdown. Travian Edwards with that magnificent catch in the end zone. Crosby up two scores. Great throw there by Tristan Cotton down the middle. He threw it over the coverage and right hit Edwards right in stride for that score. Looked like for a moment... One of the wide receivers he had, it looked like he was going to overthrow him, and then he looked behind him, and no, that was a perfect throw to the other wide receiver.
Crosby not wasting any time. Ochoa with the PAT. It is up and it is good. 14 to nothing is your score. Crosby on top of Lumberton with 9.57 left in the first quarter. You are listening and watching TexanLive.com. All Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware and so much more. Welcome back into TexanLive.com here at Texan Drive Stadium. Mark M. Johnson along with Lou Rush and our production engineer, Reed Harmon. It is a 14 to nothing Cougars lead on top of the Raiders. Just a little more than two minutes have gone by in this game. Crosby is on the attack mode right now for sure, Lou. Absolutely. This is a game that they want to put them away early. And so far, one drive, 26 seconds, one play. The next drive, 39 seconds, three plays. Wow. Now we should mention that the Raiders have already used two timeouts in their opening drive and uh, only got three yards out of it. Here is the kickoff. It's going to go over to the six-yard line taken there. And he's not going to get very much farther after that one taken down around the 15-yard line. Looks like it was Upshaw that returned it. So the Raiders have some work to do with 9.52 left in the first quarter and trailing by two touchdowns already. Only three yards in their first drive. We talked about how they are a running team and they ran right out of the gate, but uh, then they had two passing plays. Let's see what they do here. Maybe trying to catch Cougars off guard. It's going to be a running play once again on their first drive, and it's only going to be good for maybe a yard, yard and a half. Jose Mendez was on the tackle for the Cougars. Officially, they're going to give him two yards on the play. So second and eight coming. Here's the snap. Three-step draw. Throws it way high over everybody's head, and that is the third time that the Lumberton quarterback has missed his targets in such a high fashion. You know, Crosby comes with a three-man rush, but think about this. 6'3", 245. That's Nathan White with five sacks. 5'11", 270, that's Jose Menendez with six sacks. And then there's 5'11", 240, Devin Harrison with two and a half sacks. So they get pressure on the quarterback and they get it quick, and that's forcing Yarborough to throw the ball sooner than he wants to. That's a good point, Lou. Just wants to get rid of it. Here's another throw downfield and almost picked off around the 50-yard line. by Taylor Perry of the Cougars, but it will go down as an incomplete pass. So another fourth down and another three and outs for Lumberton. Only five total yards so far in their first two possessions. On to punt it away again. 9.06 remaining in the first quarter. Yeah, they should get good field position again with Hudson standing at the 50. Hudson's going to let this one fall again, and it's going to go to, dare I say, the almost exact same spot it fell in last time, the 45-yard line. Crosby set to begin their third drive of this game. And another good situation, 45-yard line is where they started last time, and how many plays did it take him, Lou? Three time, three plays last time to get a score? Three plays, 39 seconds. Wow, so think, let's... Think about it. This is their third drive. We've played three minutes and five seconds. That's unbelievable. Here they go. 
Cotton from his own 35 is running into trouble for the first time. Manages to get away from it momentarily. Throws it downfield, and that is an incomplete pass. Probably just getting rid of it to be on the safe side. He was out of the pocket and had uh, one receiver downfield. That he was, the ball was around, so incomplete pass. Bring up second and ten. Ball still in the 45-yard line, Crosby territory. A high snap. There's a handoff to Williams. He tries to spin. He'll manage to get close to the line of scrimmage. They may give him a yard. Ball staying put at the 45, so no gain on the play. Third and 10 coming for Crosby. Cotton. Pump fake to the right side, now throws to the left. Pass was complete. And brought down immediately was Wiley. So for the first time, it looks like Crosby will face a fourth down situation. I was going to say they're going to bring a punt team on, but in the field position they're in right now and the way that their defense is playing, uh, it looks like they're just going to go for it. And Lumberton's playing it the same way, so we'll either see a play or we'll see one of those pooch punches like our punts like we've seen before. Yeah, we've seen him do that earlier in the season. It looks like he's going to go to the air. He does. He's got a man to the right side. It's complete. A first down on fourth and six over to the 34-yard <laughs> line. May have fallen forward to the 33. Yes, he did. Craig Williams one more time. Yeah, I thought that's who that was on the far side. So a fresh set of downs now for Crosby. Very gutsy play to go to the air like that on fourth down, needing so many yardage. Pump fake to Williams now off the fingertips of Wiley. Falls to the ground for an incomplete pass. Looks like he had Williams wide open on the right side. Chose not to use him. Maybe he feels bad for the other guys. Let's get some <laughs> other guys some touches. <laughs> well, this Lumberton defense doesn't have a lot of takeaways this season. They've gotten seven through these ten games, the first ten games of the season. So it's not a team that's opportunistic in that regard. And off to Williams to the right side. He's got himself a first down, still on his feet, on the sideline, and he is into the end zone. Well, they're going to say he's out of bounds right at about the one-yard line. Stepped out nope. at the 14. Oh, they keep moving the ball backwards. The way everybody was going after him on the far side, it looks like he was good to go in the end zone, but the far side, of course. It is a little tricky spot for us, so stepped out of bounds on the 14, says the referees. Nonetheless, still a first down, and Crosby still on the drive. 6.44 left in the first quarter. Here is the handoff up the middle and very close to the end zone, down about the four or three or four yard line was Tim, or excuse me, it's Travian Edwards. I give him first and goal. Here's Williams taking it into the end zone. This time he will not step out of bounds. He was clearly in bounds that time. So another touchdown for Crosby with 631 left in the first quarter, and they have themselves quite a lead. Well, they're just methodical, and you talked about, uh, we talked about the rush game. Crosby came in averaging 10 yards a carry. They pretty much matched that tonight so yeah. far. <laughs> no doubt about that. 
and their defense is 3.5 yards a carry that they allow on the ground, and that's pretty true to form so far. Ochoa kicks this one up, and good. 21 to nothing. Cougars with the lead on top of the Raiders. 6.31 left in the first quarter. You're watching TexanLive.com. All Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique, featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware, and so much more. Tune in to Fox Sports Southwest tonight after the game from 11 to midnight for the Houston High School Football Wrap-Up Show presented by Texan Drive. Join Howard Chen, Ted Johnson, Courtney Rowland, and Courtney Mann as, they, as you get caught up with all the playoff action. The Houston High School Football Wrap-Up Show presented by TexanDrive.com. That's tonight from 11 to midnight only on Fox Sports Southwest. Well, it is a 21 to nothing game here at Texan Drive Stadium. Cougars with the lead on the Raiders and they've done it in very convincing fashion. Definitely not the start that Lumberton was expecting tonight. I don't think it's the start any of us expected tonight. We knew Crosby could do some damage. But it has quickly, or it's quickly getting out of hand. As this kickoff goes over to the 10 yard line, he must have been standing out of bounds when he caught the ball. That's two kickoffs now where that's happened as well because that's what happened here back at the 13 on that first kickoff. Yeah, you're right. So the Raiders at the moment pretty much shooting themselves in the foot. Certainly not the way if this is their last game they want to go out. Would say perhaps an intimidation factor here facing the number two team in the state in 5A. But here they go, trying to make something happen to the left side and picking up two or three yards on the play was the Lumberton running back. Officially give him three on the play. Six twenty-four remaining in this first quarter. Here's the snap. Run up the middle and hit in the backfield very quickly. And that's so much for those three yards. They lost all those right there. Well, we talked about how fast that defensive front three for Crosby gets through the line, and there was a great example right there. Rhodes got the ball at about the same time they got to him. So scratch those three yards out. Back to a third and ten. Play clock down to five. Here they hurry up to the line. Two seconds, one second. They get the playoff just in time. Here's the throw downfield. And it's just out of the reach. Almost looked like if he had kept his run that ball would have been completed, but it will go down as an incomplete pass. Mason Sykes, the tight end, was the intended target there. That's three times they've tried to go over the top now to, to Sykes and missed him all three times, but he's had the defense beat on all three of those. Sykes battling through some injuries, as you talked about before the game, Lou. Yeah, dislocated knee in game five, a sprained ankle in game seven, and just getting back to being healthy. Fielded around the 40-yard line, going to the left side, but not going to get very far. Tackled about the 40-yard line. And that was Shane Hudson on the return. Yeah, regardless of injuries that we hear about and whatever happens, you can – Best believe that if it's the playoffs and you're playing the number two team, 
in the state of 5A, you're going to do everything you can to get out in that field. Yeah, but here we go again, Crosby with the field position inside or at the Lumberton 40 to start this drive. So their worst field position of the night was when the kick 64-yard kickoff return was called back to their nine. Here's a little scoop up the middle. Now across the 25 to about the 24-yard line. Interesting little play there from Crosby as Wiley will take it for a first down and a lot more. Chains will move and they will spot this ball officially at the 24-yard line. Big pick up there. Another fairly high snap, this time Edwards with the carry. He may have gotten a yard out of that one falling forward. Edwards, of course, having that tremendous game last week in which he, in which he had 17 rushes for 215 yards and a touchdown. Here's Cotton. From his own 35, throwing to the corner, and it's picked off. Down the sideline. He may be gone. This is how Lumberton may get on the board. One man to beat, and Edwards gets over to him just in the nick of time. Keaton Upshaw with that pick right there, jumped the route in front of the receiver, and I think that was Cotton that caught him. Was that Cotton? Well, rather it was Cotton or Edwards. They may have just kept this shutout going because of the way the offense is moving the ball for Lumberton. I don't know if they'll be able to get some points out of this unless they try a long field goal. Well, this may be what Lumberton needs. This may be the wake-up wake up call for them right here. They're at the Crosby 21. So here's Lumberton. Their best field position all night long. Takes it for about a three or four yard gain. Tim Rhodes was the one on the carry there. Ball to the 18-yard line. Here's a second and seven. To the 15-yard line, and there's just a big pile right there, and they're going to mark it down at the 15. That's Caleb Thomas, the big fullback, 5'9", 205. He's the other half of that rush attack. He's got 700 yards on his own and 11 touchdowns. So 33 touchdowns between him and Tim Rhodes, so they can find the end zone. Not too bad for a fullback. Approaching three minutes remaining here in the first quarter. Lumberton trying to get the first points of the game. Try to cut into this Crosby Cougar deficit. Here's the snap and taking it himself to the outside. He might be gone. He dives to the end zone, hits the pylon, but they're going to say he's out of bounds at the eight-yard line. <laughs> so it was pretty difficult for us to see on the far side over there, but the way these guys keep on running, they sure are fooling us. And Well, that was just like a wildcat play because it went the snap went straight to Rhodes. Yeah, that direct snap almost got them a touchdown. Now tripping over a pile and getting to about the five-yard line on first and goal. Now, Same play right there, but only this time it, the snap went to Thomas. Thomas. 
222 remaining in the first quarter. Around the left side, taking it forward was Rhodes once again. As we get a halftime score already, Pearland on top of Westbrook, nine to nothing. Yeah, this is this is Raiders football. They they say we're gonna run. If you can stop us, go for it. And that's exactly what they're doing here. Running the clock, running the ball. They're inching closer and closer since they got inside the ten. They only need three to get into the end zone. Here's the third down, and they're not going to make it in this try. Spinning forward, almost trying to prove me wrong there, getting to about the one-yard line. And is stopping him right at the two-yard line. So a fourth and goal, decision time. You take the points, or do you go for it here? I'm going for it if I'm Lumberton. Down by three scores. It almost seems like they need to. Now taking it himself. He doesn't look like he's got it. He's going to be stopped short. Probably about the one-yard line. So a turnover on downs. Crosby is going to take over, and that is why I thought the pick six was so pivotal for Lumberton there. You just knew that the way the offense was working today, it would have been very difficult for them to get into the end zone against this Crosby defense. And that's exactly what happened. Well, they got to the one. so, But that was Menendez again one more time in there that got a hold of Rhodes and just rode him to the ground. What's the old saying? Close but no cigar. Crosby, though, starting back in their own end, and it doesn't look like they're going to have a problem with that, taking it out, getting the first down, and a couple more after that one. So Williams gets uh, about 11 yards on the play, under a minute remaining in the first quarter. A Much-needed breathing room there for Crosby. Now Cotton back in the shotgun. A four wide receiver set and one in the backfield with him. He's looking to go deep. He does. And that ball is caught. A dogfight around the 41-yard line. And winning that one was Deer. Oh, Deer was the one that was trying to guard Gray Brooks. Uh, Gray Brooks came up with the catch. Yeah, Deer had some good coverage there, but and nearly uh, knocked the ball loose once he caught it. Tight coverage, but still got the ball in there if it was Cotton. Probably the last play of the first quarter. Cotton in trouble. We'll end up just throwing it away, and that stops the clock. Initially, it stopped it at one. Now they're going to say it's the end of the first quarter. So that will do it. For the first quarter, the Crosby Cougars with an impressive one. 21 to nothing. They take the lead going into the second quarter. We'll be back for the second here on TexanLive.com. DQ, this is the stop sign of Texas. How does your typical Texas mom stop the afternoon munchies? Oh, we're hungry. With a quick stop at DQ. From great DQ desserts like the Blizzard to classic dip cones, shakes, sundaes, and more. Because DQ has something for everybody. For the best treats and eats in Texas, there's only one place to stop. DQ, this is the stop sign of Texas. As a Ford employee, I get to give my friends a special deal on cars, trucks, and SUVs. It's friends and neighbors pricing. And for a limited time, we're letting everyone in on this deal. That doesn't happen every day. And you can see the low price at Ford.com. There it is. And that's the low price you'll pay. It's that easy. You don't have to negotiate. It's hassle-free. It's an inside deal. Now for everyone. America's best-selling brand now offers friends and neighbors pricing to everyone on all Ford vehicles, but only for a limited time at your participating Texas Ford dealer. Second quarter just about to get underway here at Texan Drive Stadium in New Caney, Texas. It is a 21 to nothing lead 
for Crosby on top of Lumberton. Mark M. Johnson along with Lou Rush and our production engineer, Reed Harmon. Here is the first play of the second quarter, and Cotton goes down in the backfield. A big loss there. There's your first sack. Wow, Jacob Fussell for Lumberton makes a huge play to start the second quarter there. That was a, a loss of 15, looks like. So a third and very long now for Crosby. Going deep. He has a man, and that ball is caught. Unbelievable. Crosby just making big plays happen. Well, now they're going to say it was incomplete. Looked like he had it there for a moment. I thought he had it too. I, I agree with you. That was looked like a fantastic catch. Fell out just at the last second. Talk about a team, though, that's not afraid to go for it all. Another halftime report. Laporte up on Dawson, or excuse me, they're tied. 10-10, Laporte and Dawson. So Keaton Upshaw and Kane Deer back for the pump, but we'll have a timeout. And we'll be right back right after this on TexanLive.com. Download the new Fox Sports Southwest Football Friday app. Connect and get live scores statewide. Find games near you. Plus, get your photos on our Friday night show. This is the one app that can handle high school football in Texas. Get the App Store and type Football Friday. Friday high school football isn't over till you watch high school scoreboard live. Final scores, big plays, plus the DQ big game of the week. Be a part of the most watched high school football show in Texas. Friday on Fox Sports Southwest. Quick timeout taken by Crosby. They're first. They still have two remaining. Wanted to talk things over just to make sure they had things right. On fourth and 25. Ready to punt this one away from his own 15-yard line. It's a pretty good kick. Falling just in front of the 35, now taking a Crosby bounce to the 27-yard line. How Jordan Hill came in with a 37-yard average and got a great bounce there. That'll help that average. No doubt about that. The other end, it's kind of interesting. You saw, I think that was Upshaw that fell on the ball. Not sure why he chose to do that. But right at the 27-yard line is where Lumberton will have it with 11.02 remaining in the half. And the Raiders trailing the Cougars 21 to nothing. Here's the shotgun. Not going to get very far. Probably lost about two yards on the play. Tim Rhodes on the carry. Yarbrough with the block. It's Crosby defense holding strong. Well, Crosby continues to be in the playoffs, and this is Lumberton's first time in a number of seasons. It's where the experience may matter, as they say. Rolling around to the right side, a low pass at the 34-yard line. is going to go incomplete. It's like Boykin was the intended target for the Raiders. Yarbrough's, Yarbrough's throw is a little bit low. So third and 11 coming up for Lumberton. As they go with the trips right, looking like they want to throw on third and long. Play clock is at five. 
in trouble. Now he's going to have to throw a screen, a really high throw. And just having to go up and get that one was Tim Rhodes, and he is smashed immediately when he came down. Another fourth down coming for Lumberton as the punt team comes on the field. Another good series there for the Crosby defense. And another one of those where Lumberton just can't get the momentum going against this team. Crosby comes into tonight having beaten Lumberton three times in three tries. This one's going to fall around the 40-yard line. Yeah, Tim Rhodes, second in rushing in District 22 5A. Had nearly 1,400 yards rushing this season. And we've seen him get, get shut down by the Cougars' defense. Yeah, Lumberton came in averaging seven yards a carry, and the Crosby defense so far has done their job. They came in limiting rushing attacks to 3.5 a carry. Certainly seeing the difference here. So here we go, Cotton looking to throw. He's going to go to the far right side and trying to come back and make a play out of that one. Around the 40-yard line, but it just looked like Cotton was trying to throw it away. Yeah, Lumberton is, is getting through to him, but not enough to where it's making any difference. Four wide receivers set, but they're going to hand the ball off and up the middle to the 44-yard line from his own 40. Looks like that was Williams on the carry again. Yeah, they, they just about got Williams healthy. He's been battling a shoulder injury probably three, four weeks now. And just wonder how long, if the game continues to go this way, how long he'll stay. Yeah, that's true. Cotton looking to throw again. He's going to go downfield. He's got a man open. That is a catch made at the 20-yard line and falling forward to about the 15. Is that Gray Brooks? Believe so. Big catch there. Gets out to the 16-yard line. Crosby looking to add on to this lead. Hand off to Williams up the middle. Dodges one in the end zone for another Crosby Cougar touchdown. Williams is just making it happen tonight. Wow, 28 points, or 27 at the moment, pending the kick. Last week, Lumberton gave up 51. So it's not looking good tonight for the Raiders. Falling deeper and deeper into a hole. Not a good team to do that to. Ochoa kicks it up and through. 8-19 remaining in the first half. Crosby extends this lead, 28 to nothing. On top of Lumberton, you are watching TexanLive.com. All Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware, and so much more. Texan Live is your new home for Houston High School sports. The road to the state championship continues tomorrow on TexanLive.com. Seco Ranch matches up with Bel Air at 1, and then at 6, New Caney faces off against Nederland. It's the road to state on Texan Live, your new home for Houston High School sports. Well, that is the third touchdown by the sophomore Williams 
in this game tonight and extends this Crosby Cougar lead to 28 to nothing on top of these Lumberton Raiders. Here's the kickoff, taking about the seven yard line across the 20. Getting down to the 20, well they're gonna give them the 25 yard line on this one. That is the best field position they've had on kickoff all night. Unofficially, I've got Williams at 146 yards and three scores, and still got eight minutes to go in the first half. My goodness. Well, that's they say when they come to play, they come to play. Well, Coach Reardon's first one to tell you that if anybody's going to beat Crosby, it'll be Crosby. That they're not worried about the opponent. As long as they do what they do best, nobody's going to beat them. Here's the first and 10 from their own 25. About the 30-yard line is where the pile will stop the running back. Forward motion, they're going to give them the 31-yard line, so a pick up about six yards on the first play. Now under eight minutes left in the first half. Two wide receivers, one on each side, likely going to the handoff, and they do. No gain on this play, may have even lost a yard. Try to get around to the left side, and Michael Brown was having none of that. It is a one-yard loss on the play. Third and five coming up. Seven minutes remaining in the first half. Here's the snap. And the little pitch to the right side. They're going to lose yards once again, about nine yards. Or, excuse me, four-yard loss, and it's going to be fourth and nine. Yeah, that was a little read option, and Rhodes had no <laughs> nowhere to go even when he got the ball. But we talked about Lumberton continuing to run, and this season they averaged 30, 30 attempts on the ground or more a game, and that's what they do best. They're going to be forced to kick it here, though. Falling about midfield and taking a bit of a Lumberton bounce to the 41-yard line. Fans, make sure to log on to TexanLive.com each and every week to vote for the Cavaliers Player of the Week. Then tune in every Friday night into the Houston High School Football Wrap-Up Show presented by TexanDrive.com to see who Courtney Madden showcases as the Cavaliers Player of the Week on Fox Sports Southwest. Well, this Lumberton defense has to be getting tired. Talk about the number of, not just the number of plays, but the type of plays that Crosby is running against them. And here they are again, trying to make a stop. And up the middle, Williams dragging some guys with him to the 36-yard line in Lumberton territory. Actually, that was Sherman McGee now, 5'8", 228. And they bring him, and he's kind of there. there. When you think of shock and awe, you got Williams that's quick, and... McGee that just runs over bodies. That is McGee there in the backfield. Blocking this time is McKee. Cotton going to the air. He's got one man. A dive in the end zone. Incomplete. What an effort. Rooney Wooder, the intended... Target diving forward, almost coming up with a miraculous catch in the end zone. Boy, it's always fun to see these Cougars go to the air like that. They make some tremendous plays downfield. 
Here's a short one, though. Cotton to the left side. I believe that's Gray Brooks on the far end. He dives forward to about the 30-yard line. Just trying to pick up some positive yardage as they face third down. You know, interestingly enough, Crosby's attempted 20 or more passes in nine of their 10 games with a 60% completion rate. Lumberton's finished that after this play. Going to the end zone, wide open on the left side, beating his man by uh, several steps. Another touchdown for Crosby, and this lead is now 34 to nothing after that touchdown catch from Jordan Hill. Tristan Cotton with the perfect pass. I was going to say, Lumberton, you know, Crosby's attempted 20 or more. Lumberton has only faced one team until now that has thrown 20 times against them all season. Wow, that is something. Well, the extra point by Cho is up and good. 35 to nothing is your score with the Cougars leading the Raiders. 4.55 remaining in the first half. We'll be right back here on TexanLive.com. All Spas is so much more than Ace Hardware. Sure, we have nuts and bolts, lawn and garden, faucets and fixtures, lights and locks, even outdoor cooking. But All Spas is also a boutique, featuring the finest names in jewelry and home accessories. But most importantly, All Spas is a friendly, helpful family of people who take pride in their products and services. All Spas is Ace Hardware, and so much more. The Houston High School playoffs continue next week, and Texan Live is your home for the postseason. Get your tickets to the state championships held at NRG Stadium in Houston by following the UIL link on TexanLive.com. Then follow your team on the road to state at the Houston at the excuse me at the home for Houston High School sports, TexanLive.com. 4:55 remaining in the first half. And that is correct. Crosby with the 35 to nothing lead on Lumberton. A dominating performance on both ends of the ball for Crosby. Ball taken to the similar spot in which they had it last time. Last time they had it in the 24, this time the 23. Interestingly enough, the Crosby in the second quarter of games this season, averaging 14, 14 points, and they've done exactly that this quarter. My goodness. Well, what they did to C.E. King last week, these guys are ready to go. Here is a double reverse, and now the throw downfield. Almost getting on the end of that one at the 42-yard line. Jacob Bridgers nearly had that one. Will go down as an incomplete pass, though. Not a bad attempt from Lumberton trying to make something happen, getting some positive yardage. Yeah, a little razzle-dazzle there, and they just missed com connecting on that particular play. That's pretty not much how their night has gone so far. That is, that is absolutely true. Clock stopped at 4.41 here in the second quarter. A trip's right, likely to throw. They do. A short one to the right side. Complete. Dodges one, goes up, and does pick up some pot of positive yardage on that catch to the 20... The 29-yard line looks like. Six-yard gain will make it third and four. I want to say that's a, this is a manageable down, but considering the way Crosby's defense has been playing, this may be a difficult four yards. Absolutely. 
We saw them get in trouble with three yards down by the goal line. And they're not going to get the first down here either. Might have picked up a yard on the play. Once again, running the ball for Lumberton was Tim Rhodes. Fourth and three situation for Lumberton. Kind of looks like they're going for it. Yarbrough still on the field, and they are. They're going for it. Yeah, that clock's about to run out on them, though. So they will have timeout. to take their final timeouts of this first half. Another clock issue there. 317 is remaining in this game. It is a 35 to nothing lead for Crosby on top of Lumberton. Lumberton. We'll be right back here on TexanLive.com. Only one network is big enough to cover the great state of Texas. And only one show travels across the state to get the skinny on high school sports every week, all year long. You want the best in high school sports? Catch High School Spotlight on Fox Sports Southwest. Back here on TexanLive.com, Mark M. Johnson along with Lou Rush and our production engineer, Reed Harmon. 317 remaining in this first half. It's been all Crosby with their 35 to nothing lead. Here is the punt taken at the 40 yard line. Dodging one tackle and getting up to about the 48 yard line in his own territory was Shane Hudson. Well, the number one team in the state, Navasota, with a 42 to nothing lead on Columbia at halftime. Katie having some trouble, as I just mentioned, against Westside, only up 56 to nothing. I kid, of course. Cy Ranch up 23 to six on Memorial at halftime over there. Here's a handoff. Getting back up to the line of scrimmage, though, for no gain. Side Creek 28, Aldean 19 at halftime. Clear Creek 49 to 10 with the lead on top of Travis at halftime. Here's the second and 10. Cotton looking downfield. A lot of contact down there. Hudson. There is a flag at the 20. Likely a or an interference or pass interference. Referee Kevin Upham with that call. <laughs> flag was a little, I thought the flag was a little bit late, but the con I think what they called was that he had he not been tied up, tangled up, that he may have had a chance of catching that ball. Hudson was kind of right not to try to attempt that one and made it look a little more obvious. So 15-yard pickup. Cotton in trouble and is sacked for the second time tonight. Number 77, Michael Helm, 6'3", 280 with that sack. Going up the middle is McGee. Picking up some good yardage on that one. Out the 32 yard line.
So the senior McGee getting some good reps in here with the big lead. High snap, bounces. Cotton picks it up. Showing off his basketball skills there. Getting close to the first down. Looks like he's going to be about a yard shy of the first down. Well, they moved it back even farther, so fourth and two. They're definitely going to go for it here. In Basically no man's territory. I mean, they... Even if they don't get it here, Lumberton's still starting off pretty far back. Probably an easy decision for Coach Reardon. Handoff. They're not going to get it. Stopped at the 29-yard line with 47 seconds left in the first half. Lumberton will have the ball one last time to try to put some points up on the board before the half. Well, Channel View's season might be coming to a close. They trail Manville 40 to nothing at the half. Port Natchez Groves up 21 to 20 on Dayton at the half. And the Woodlands up only 10 to nothing on Klein Oak. What a game over there. From the 25 yard line, throwing it down. Field almost picked off at the 40-yard line. Taylor Perry. Oh, I think he, he caught the ball before he actually had the ball. You know, he, he saw it, and he was right there, and it just went through his hands. Oh, yeah, he was already thinking what he was doing with that ball. <laughs> Happens to the best of us. 39 seconds remaining in the first half. Going to the, well, just a short pass in the backfield. The catch and the run. Closer to a first down as tensions start going down about the 40-yard line. Flag is thrown, likely a personal foul coming against somebody. Tim Rhodes with that last reception. Let's see what the call is here. So that's going to be hit against Crosby. Personal foul after the play was over with. Unnecessary, I guess, unsportsmanlike conduct, actually, is what they're saying. So Lumberton will move over on Crosby's side of the field at, the, at their 48-yard line. Clock still ticking, though. Now under 20 seconds as they hurry back. And they'll finally get the snap off, and it's a quick pass to the right side. And did he get out of bounds? Yes, he did. Stops the clock at 6.9 seconds. That's Jacob Bridges with another catch. And a Lumberton first down. Haven't called many of those tonight. No, we haven't. Out of timeouts. They're probably going to have to go to the end zone here. Running a trips left. And he's not going to be able to get one off. Sacked in the back as time runs out here in the first half. Well, it was all Crosby in the first half. They take a 35 to nothing lead to the locker room. And uh, any last thoughts before we go to halftime, Lou? Well... <laughs> We thought it was going to be high scoring. We just didn't think it was going to be high scoring in a lopsided fashion. Definitely not a one-sided affair do we see happening here tonight. Halftime presented by Panera Bread. We'll see you for the second half here on TexanLive.com.
DQ, this is the stop sign of Texas. How does your typical Texas mom stop the afternoon munchies? Oh, we're hungry. With a quick stop at DQ. From great DQ desserts like the blizzard to classic dip cones, shakes, sundaes, and more. Because DQ has something for everybody. For the best treats and eats in Texas, there's only one place to stop. DQ, this is the stop sign of Texas. As a Ford employee, I get to give my friends a special deal on cars, trucks, and SUVs. It's friends and neighbors pricing, and for a limited time, we're letting everyone in on this deal. That doesn't happen every day. And you can see the low price at Ford.com. There it is. And that's the low price you'll pay. It's that easy. You don't have to negotiate. It's hassle-free. It's an inside deal. Now for everyone. America's best-selling brand now offers friends and neighbors pricing to everyone on all Ford vehicles, but only for a limited time at your participating Texas Ford dealer.